far we've been solving for size. How long some side is. We've not been asked to find out how big an angle is. And so let's put this one again to one of the formulas and find out what the measure of that angle is. Suggestions as to which of the formulas I want to use? Log cosines. Log cosines. Why would that be a good one? Because you don't have to have any angles at all. Right. So I don't have any angles. In order to use the law of sines, I would need to have the angle I don't know and another angle in order to make it work for me, to have enough information. So that's not going to work here, but I have all three sides, and the law of cosines uses all three sides and the cosine of a single angle, and since that can be the angle I'm looking for, that one will work for me. So remember your law of cosines was a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of alpha, or in our case it's going to be x. Which side is going to be our a? The 37 one, because it's opposite the angle. Remember, these two have to be opposite each other. So it's the 37.83 squared equals... And it doesn't matter which one's B or C, right? Just as long as it's one of the other two. So we'll do 68.01 plus 42.15 squared minus 2 times 68, sorry about that, 0.01 times 42.15 times the cosine of alpha. Oh, I guess it should be X, because on our problem it's X. How do I find X? <clears throat> what would be helpful? What do we normally do when we're solving for X? Get the X all by itself on one side, everything else on the other. All right, well, let's start by moving stuff over. I'm going to do it all at once. What do you want to move over? Um, the 68. The 68.01? Okay, so I have 37.81 squared minus 68.01 squared. Anything else while I'm at it? And the 42.15 squared, 42.15 squared. That's enough for now. We don't want to get too lost. 42.15 times the cosine of x. Now what should I do? Those were easy to move. Divide. Divide by what? Yeah, divide by all of this stuff, right? So if I divide by all of that stuff, 37.81 squared minus 68.01 squared minus 42.15 squared, all divided by negative 2 times 68.01 times 42.15. And what's that going to be equal to? 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. Oh, okay. What's that equal to then? Cosine of x. Now, part of the reason I'm not doing this yet is and the reason I knew Scott had done this problem is that when he sent it to me, he said, here's what I did. And he'd gone through everything correctly, but then he rounded slightly before he did the next step, and that made his answer off by like a degree or two. So you don't want to round this until you're done, until the very end. So only when it's that last angle. How do I solve for x? Yeah, take the inverse cosine. So the arc cosine of this mess. 37.83 squared minus 68.01 squared minus 42.15 squared divided by negative 2 times 68.01 times 42.15. What mode should you be in for this to come out correctly? Degrees. So if you were last working on your 5.5 homework, chances are you are in radians. 
if you were actually putting in decimal answers. So let's see how this comes out. Uh, 37.83 squared minus 68.01 squared minus 42.15 squared divided by negative 2 times 68.01.